15 seconds on the clock. Got Silent X and Smee alive on the streets. Match begins in five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight! Silent X is up to speed. Smee is holding off, pushing in. Looks like, it's like a little landmine. Silent Spring trying to climb over that wedge. Whoa! This looks to be a spring steel wedge that Smee is running. Mm -hmm. Or spring steel on top of UHMW. <laughs> Very strong combination. Looks like Brett's trying to sit this one out. Silent Spring stuck in the corner. Looks like he's trying. Looks Ooh. like he's trying to get that weapon over the body of Smee. Oh, Whoa. there goes the weapon on the minibot. <laughs> I don't know, but there are bolts flying everywhere. Oh, a lot of sparks from Silent X, but it doesn't seem like he's done any damage to the primary body of Smee. No. However, the minibot has been completely disabled. Yeah. Oh, oh, big spark! Nice off hit on Brett. Right, we got a minute that might be a real left. strategy there for for Smee to just press into Brett. Oh. Silent X just cannot get around this wedge of Smee. We're down to one minute. Oh. Oh. It looks like Silent X is trying to become unstable to throw himself over the wedge of Smee. Whoa! Whoa. Although Smee's kind of like a turtle. He's all armor on the front, but yeah. soft underbelly on the I, back. I mean, there's something to be said for the fact that Silent X can't even flip Smee upside down. All right, 25 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. We might have to go for an encore. Yeah, it's definitely interesting here. We got to figure out who's more of the aggressor. Oh. oh. We almost got under there. Five. Oh, no. We're going to get. I'm putting a little more time on there. We gotta go for the encore. You have an encore. Smee's yeah. wedge is taking this beating. But it looks like with the dulled edge from the crisis fight, Science Spring cannot get a bite on the wedge. Believe it or not, that bouncing. Thirty is seconds. A part of Silent X's strategy to try and get around yep. Smee. Oh, Whoa. it's on the back. Oh. oh, the stickers have been removed. All right, five. Four, three, two, one, and that's end. All right. So, in thinking about this, it's interesting. Um, to me, the design is really cool, um, but I think, like, when I look at the performance, both robots were aggressors, mm -hmm. but Silent X did successfully disable Smee's minibot. Like, that's, that's a That kill. is the primary you weapon. Know? there and so Smee as far as I can tell didn't land any damage on Silent X there's some bolts out there that I don't know where they came from but I don't think they came from Silent X either so I believe Silent X removed them from the wall oh they were in the wall oh they're they actually part of the cage <laughs> <laughs> so Silent X um, so yeah so I, I think 
you know, uh, we, we got to hand it to, uh, to Silent X for this match, and we'll see what happens. You know, Smee is in the winner's bracket, so he's now down to loser's bracket. He may end up back here with a grudge match, and frankly, if he didn't lose his other little bot, you know, it might have been a different story. Yep. One danger with classing that mini yeah. as your primary weapon is that is your primary weapon. If it's disabled, yeah. you've lost your primary weapon. Yeah, that's tough. All right, hopefully we've got some good people up next. But first, the replay, which I'll leave to you. So looking at the replay here, we should be able to see Silent Spring doing everything in his power to flip upside down to try and get over Smee. We'll be keeping an eye out for that in the replay. <laughs> 